Margaret Rutledge was born in Edmonton in 1914, and when the Trans-Canada Air Pageant came to town in 1931, 17-year-old Margaret decided her future was in the air. At 19, she earned her private pilot's license, and at 21, her commercial license, becoming the first woman in Western Canada to do so. Margaret moved to Vancouver in 1935, where she found six other women with private licenses. She then traveled to California to seek membership for her seven with the 99s, an American women's flying club led by Amelia Earhart. When Earhart rejected her request, West, Rutledge formed the Flying Seven as an independent club. The group held events such as a flyover bomb flit, dropping thousands of Smash the Nazis pamphlets over the city, and, to prove women's rights to the air, a dawn to dusk air show, where this photo was taken by friend and fellow pilot William M. Stark. Every woman in the group has a fascinating story, but as the group's founder, the first woman in Western Canada to hold a commercial license, and the first woman radio operator in North America, Rutledge was a true pioneer. When she died in 2004, the Flying Seven still existed as a group.